So we've gotten the rear boxes obviously all finished out on the fronts and backs and now we are looking to do some doors. Now we had some doors that were already cut and we are going to try to work with those for the front sections up here. But we will be trying to cut a template today to determine how to produce these. Now one thing you may notice is there is a, uh, a joint obviously right there between the two. And the idea is that this can easily be taken apart in panels so you have your front section up here which runs that way and that panel can get removed and then the rear panel runs this way and that can get removed now everything is held together we're utilizing some uh some rivets and then also some screws and then finishing everything off with the two inch aluminum trim on the top and the inch and a half down here on the bottom and the wheel wells are existing purchased trailer wheel wells that we had picked up and those are 36's the cut is about 37 and a half and what we've done is we're just going to spot weld those and they're just caulking so the benefit of those is that if they get damaged being that they're sticking out they can be easily removed and replaced if that does happen so that's kind of the idea with most of this build is each one of these panels can be taken apart and as you can see with the top section the top panel can be easily removed so you can get to the underneath and the frame. So it's a very modular system. And we're still thinking about the bumper. And we come up, come up with a couple of new ideas for the side rails and then attachment points for the camper. So that's pretty much just a quick summary of what we have going on here so far. Jason's picked up a piece of cardboard which we will utilize for our template. So we have the template cut here, and we're just doing measurements on the outside. JC's using a self-tapping screw in order to put in the middle of our template. This way we can check to make sure everything's gonna line up perfectly with the inside frame steel, and also mark it on the outside so we can then cut it. We've then taken the pattern, cut 1 8 aluminum sheet, and then now bending it on the finger brake to get the sides so we have our rear left door. Next, it's welding time on all the corners. Jason dives right in to get this first door all finished. Down here. Just look at it. See how the tip's right on the line? 
I just climb in right here, and you can have out, right? It doesn't matter. You just gotta know what side you're climbing, man. That's all. Holy story. Oh, I follow. Do you want the bigger piece of metal? No. Yeah, just before you get the Taco Bell. Yeah. Those guys are pretty good. And I said, you got yeah. I said, and they didn't want them? Yeah, I said, I'll just change my tires over and you can have them. Are you on Facebook? No. Facebook. I, every time I sell them, you know, I'm on Facebook. You can give it to me. I'll put them up if you want. Uh, give me some pictures. I'll put them up for you. Right here we have the right side passenger door on the rear. This will sit like this. It will hinge out like this. We'll have a stainless steel hinge that we're going to apply here. And then we'll have the handles, the latches, which are also stainless. And we have the other one on the other side. Thumbs up. So we're at Bling Services and they're going to do a little welding here, doing some TIGging. So with the TIGging, he's starting off by basically just going in and tacking a couple spots. Now, the TIG, you can see, has a long rod that he's basically using to help feed into the flame. It's a lot more, I guess, exact or precise, I guess you could say. The MIG is, uses a spool gun, as you may have seen in some of the other videos, and that's on a wheel which basically feeds in. Now this is, uh, like I said, a lot more accurate, requires a lot less cleanup.
and normally you should be wearing a glove but he prefers to use just his hand so you can really feel the rod now of course you know it's going to dry out his hands and it could also cause um, more or less like some sunburn to his hand but it really allows him to feel that and that's what he prefers The last step is cleaning up all the grinds with different types of grinding wheels and pads in order to give a nice finished look.